assalamu alaikum hello everyone welcome back to my channel the maths board today i am here with karnataka school examination and assessment board that is karnataka state board model paper for 2024 for the class 8th subject maths so this is the model paper for 2024 board examination for class 8 standard so let us solve this model paper board model paper so here the first main is four alternatives are given for each of the following question that is incomplete statement choose the appropriate one and write along with the alphabets okay so 16 question for one marks so 16 marks let us start solving this the rational number that does not have a reciprocal is we all know that the rational number that does not have a reciprocal is b so the correct answer is 0 so what we will write b 0 the answer is b 0 0 does not have reciprocal next question the operation that is not closed for rational number so here the operation this all are the fundamental operation that is not closed for rational number is division so d division is a correct answer next question unit digit of square of 169 we know that square of 169 is 13 so square of 169 is 13 and unit digit of this 13 is 3 so the correct answer is b 3 next question a linear equation in one variable among the following is linear equation among one variable here we can see we have two variables here also here also but here we can see we have a one variable so correct answer is c 5 by 3x plus 7 by 5 is equals to 2 by 7 so this is the answer for a linear equation with one variable next question so the question number 5 one of the like term of 7xy is here we have to see who is a like term of 7xy we know that xy let us see where we can see here plus and plus sign plus x plus y here plus sign is there 7 plus xy so only xy whose like term so option a is a correct answer that is minus 2 by 3 xy okay the like term of 7xy is option a that is minus 2 by 3 xy let us see next question if x and y are in direct proportion they are in direct proportion then for some non zero real constant k is direct proportion is nothing but x by y is equals to k we should know so the answer is c x by y is equals to Okay. In the same way, if they ask uh, inverse proportion, x into y is k. In place of direct proportion, if they ask inverse proportion, this is the answer. But here they have asked direct proportion, so c is our answer. Next question: One or more outcome of a random experiment makes an event. So the answer is here d and event next question question number 8 a nine sided polygon is called we know that a nine sided polygon is nothing but nanogon so b nanogon or nonagon next question number 9 with the usual not notation euler's formula for polyhedron is we know that polyhedron 
Euler's formula is nothing but f plus v is equals to e plus two. So here we have options. So correct option is C. F plus v is equals to e plus two is a correct answer for Euler's formula for polyhedron. Question ten. Among this number, one zero eight is completely divisible by. One zero eight is completely divisible by nine. What we have to do? This all option we have to divide by one zero eight. Then among these, the complete divisible by is nine. That is D nine. How? I'll just do and show you one zero eight. See here nine one za nine. What remains? One remains. We'll bring eight down. Nine two za eighteen. So it is completely divisible. If we do with eleven, it is not divisible. If we do with seven, it is not divisible. So we have to check in this way. Next question number eleven. Usual form of hundred into a plus ten into c plus b is nothing but a c b. So a c b option b. A C B is a correct answer. A C B bar. Now next, perfect cube among the following is. We have to check this question by this method. For example, one seven two eight. We know it is divisible by two. Two eight is a sixteen. Two six is a twelve. Two four is a eight. Like this way, two four is a eight. Two three is a six. Two two is a four. Then again, two two is a four. Two one is a two. One remains. Two six is a twelve. Then two one is a two. Together we are taking two numbers. So zero two eight is a sixteen. Next two five is a ten. Two four is a eight. Two two is a four. Two seven is a fourteen. Now it will not go in two table. Three nine is a twenty seven. Three three is a nine. Three one is a Three. So it is perfect cube because set of three, set of three, and set of three, correct? So it is a perfect cube. If you check other, it won't come. So the answer is a one seven two eight is a perfect cube. Let us see the next question. So the question number thirteen. Standard form of that is scientific notation of zero point zero 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 three is here three into ten to the power minus six because after decimal these numbers are so correct answer is B three into ten to the power minus six. Next question: Percentage of three is to four is how we will find. Three is to four percentage, so three by four into hundred. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Two remains. Four fives are twenty-five. So three into twenty-five is nothing but seventy-five percent. So the correct answer is A, seventy-five percent. Next question. The data that changes continuously. Over period of time can be displayed by line graph. So the answer here is line graph. C line graph. And the last question of this multiple choice MCQs. Let us see a die marked with one, two, three, four, five, six. We know that a die is marked with these numbers. On it faces. One number on one on face is thrown once. The probability of getting the outcome two. How many times we can see two? Only one. So the answer is one upon total numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six. One by six. So the correct option is D. One by six. So this completes the multiple choice question that is till question number 16 in my next video i'm coming up with the continuation of this model paper so do like and share and subscribe my channel thank you